Question 16.29. Questioner, I would like to make an analogy as to why there are few are negatively oriented, and then ask you if the analogy is good. In a positively oriented society with service to others, it would be simple to move a large boulder by getting everyone to help move it. In a society oriented towards service to self, it would be much more difficult to get everyone to work for the good of all to move the boulder, therefore, it is much easier to get things done to create the service to others principle and to grow in positively oriented communities than in negatively oriented communities. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.30 Questioner, thank you very much. Can you tell me how the Confederation of Planets was formed and why? Answer, I am Ra. The desire to serve begins, in the dimension of love or understanding, to be an overwhelming goal of the social memory complex. Thus, those percentiles of planetary entities, plus approximately 4% more of whose identity we cannot speak found themselves long, long ago in your time seeking the same thing, service to others. The relationship between these entities as they entered an understanding of other beings, other planetary entities, and other concepts of service was to share and continue together these commonly held goals of service. Thus each voluntarily placed the social memory complex data in what you may consider a central thought complex available to all. This then created a structure whereby each entity could work in its own service while calling upon any other understanding needed to enhance the service. This is the cause of the formation and the manner of the working of the Confederation. Question 16.31 Questioner, with such a large number of planets in this galaxy you say that there are approximately 500 planets in the Confederation. There seems to be a relatively small number of Confederation planets around. Is there a reason for it? Answer, I am Ra. There are many confederations. This confederation works with the planetary spheres of seven of your galaxies, if you will, and is responsible for the callings of the densities of these galaxies. Question 16.32 Questioner, would you define the word galaxy as you just used it? Answer, I am Ra. We use that term in this sense as you would use star systems. Question 16.33. Questioner, I'm a little bit confused as to how many total planets the confederation that you are in serves. Answer, I am Ra. I see the confusion. We have difficulty with your language. The galaxy term must be split. We call galaxy the vibrational complex that is local. Thus, your sun is what we would call the center of a galaxy. We see you have another meaning for this term. Question 16.34. Questioner, yes. In our science the term galaxy refers to the lenticular star system that contains millions and millions of stars. There was a confusion about this in one of our earlier communications, and I'm glad to get it cleared up. Using the term galaxy in the sense that I just stated, using the lenticular star system that contains millions of stars, do you know of evolution in other galaxies besides this one? Answer, I am Ra. We are aware of life in infinite capacity. You are correct in this assumption. Question 16.35. Questioner, can you tell me if the progression of life in other galaxies is similar to the progression of life in our galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. The progression is somewhat close to the same, asymptotically approaching congruency throughout infinity. The free choosing of what you would call a galactic system causes variations of an extremely minor nature from one of your galaxies to another. Question 16.36 Questioner, then the law of one is truly universal in creating a progression towards the eighth density in all galaxies. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. There are infinite forms, infinite understandings, but the progression is one. Question 16.37. Questioner, I am assuming that it is not necessary for an individual to understand the law of one to go from the third to the fourth density. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. It is absolutely necessary that an entity consciously realize it does not understand it in order for it to be harvestable. Understanding is not of this density. Question 16.38. Questioner, that is a very important point. I used the wrong word. 
What I meant to say was that I believed that it was not necessary for an entity to be consciously aware of the law of one to go from the third to the fourth density. Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.39 Questioner, at what point in the densities is it necessary for an entity to be consciously aware of the law of one in order to progress? Answer, I am Ra. The fifth density harvest is of those whose vibratory distortions consciously accept the honor duty of the law of one. This responsibility honor is the foundation of this vibration. Question 16.40 Questioner, can you tell me a little more about this honor responsibility concept? Answer, I am Ra. Each responsibility is an honor, each honor, a responsibility. Question 16.41 Questioner, can you tell me of the silver flecks that we have found sometimes on our faces or elsewhere? Answer, I am Ra. These of which you speak are a materialization of a subjectively oriented signpost indicating to one mind, body, spirit complex, and no other, a meaning of subjective nature. Question 16.42 Questioner, who creates these silver flecks? Answer, I am Ra. Picture, if you will, the increasing potential for learned teaching. At some point a sign will be given indicating the appropriateness or importance of that learned teaching. The entity itself, in cooperation with the inner planes, creates whatever signpost is most understandable or noticeable to it. Question 16.43 Questioner, I understand that we ourselves create this. Answer, I am Ra. Entities consciously do not create these. The roots of mind complex, having touched in understanding, intelligent infinity, create them. Question 16.44 Questioner, thank you. Is it possible for you to give a short description of the conditions in the fourth density? Answer, I am Ra. We ask you to consider as we speak that there are not words for positively describing fourth density. We can only explain what is not and approximate what is. Beyond fourth density our ability grows more limited until we become without words. That which fourth density is not, it is not of words, unless chosen. It is not of heavy chemical vehicles for body complex activities. It is not of disharmony within self. It is not of disharmony within peoples. It is not within limits of possibility to cause disharmony in any way. Approximations of positive statements It is a plane of type of bipedal vehicle which is much denser and more full of life. It is a plane wherein one is aware of the thought of other selves. It is a plane wherein one is aware of vibrations of other selves. It is a plane of compassion and understanding of the sorrows of third density. It is a plane striving towards wisdom or light. It is a plane wherein individual differences are pronounced although automatically harmonized by group consensus. Question 16.45. Questioner, could you define the word density as we have been using it? Answer, I am Ra. The term density is a, what you call, mathematical one. The closest analogy is that of music, whereby after seven notes on your western type of scale, if you will, the eighth note begins a new octave. Within your great octave of existence which we share with you, there are seven octaves or densities. Within each density there are seven subdensities. Within each subdensity are seven sub subdensities. Within each sub subdensity, seven sub sub subdensities and so on infinitely. Question 16.46. Questioner, I noticed that the time of this session has gone slightly over an hour. I would like to ask at this time if we should go on. What is the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is in balance. It is well to continue if you desire. Question 16.47 Questioner, I understand that each density has seven subdensities which again have seven subdensities and so on. This is expanding at a really large rate as each is increased by powers of seven. Does this mean that in any density level anything that you can think of is happening? Answer, I am Ra. From your confusion we select the concept with which you struggle, that being infinity opportunity. You may consider any possibility probability complex as having an existence. Question 16.48 Questioner, do things like daydreams become real in other densities? Answer, I am Ra. This depends upon the nature of the daydream. 
This is a large subject. Perhaps the simplest thing we can say is if the daydream as you call it is one which attracts to self, this then becomes reality to self. If it is a contemplative general daydream, this may enter the infinity of possibility probability complexes and occur elsewhere, having no particular attachment to the energy fields of the creator. Question 16.49 Questioner, to make this a little more clear, if I were to daydream strongly about building a ship, would this occur in one of these other densities? Answer, I am Ra. This would, would have or shall occur. Question 16.50 Questioner, then if an entity daydreams strongly about battling an entity, would this occur? Answer, I am Ra. In this case the entity's fantasy concerns the self and other self, this binding the thought form to the possibility probability complex connected with the self which is the creator of this thought form. This then would increase the possibility probability of bringing this into third density occurrence. Question 16.51 Questioner, does the Orion group use this principle to create conditions favorable to suit their purpose? Answer, I am Ra. We will answer more specifically than the question. The Orion group uses daydreams of hostile or other negative natures to feed back or strengthen these thought forms. Question 16.52 Questioner, are the many wanderers who have and are coming to our planet subject to the Orion thoughts? Answer, I am Ra. As we have said before, wanderers has become completely the creature of third density in mind-body complex. There is just as much chance of such influence to a wanderer entity as to a mind-body-spirit complex of this planetary sphere. The only difference occurs in the spirit complex which, if it wishes, has an armor of light, if you will, which enables it to recognize more clearly that which is not as it would appropriately be desired by the mind, body, spirit complex. This is not more than bias and cannot be called an understanding. Furthermore, the wanderer is in its own mind, body, spirit, less distorted toward the, shall we say, deviousness of third density positive negative confusions. Thus, it often does not recognize as easily as a more negative individual the negative nature of thoughts or beings. Question 16.53 Questioner, then would the wanderers, as they incarnate here, be high priority targets of the Orion group? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.54 Questioner, if a wanderer should be successfully infringed upon, shall I say, by the Orion group, what would happen to this wanderer when harvest came? Answer, I am Ra. If the wanderer entity demonstrated through action a negative orientation towards other selves it would be as we have said before, caught into the planetary vibration and when harvested, possibly repeat again the master cycle of third density as a planetary entity. This shall be the last full question of this session. Is there a short question we may answer before we close this session? Question 16.55 Questioner, can the instrument be made more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is as comfortable as it is possible for you to make it given the weakness distortions of its body complex. You are conscientious. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace. Adonai.